Welcome back. Yes, it's that time, and you know what time I'm talking about. <laughs> Janet in the house. <laughs> Good morning, Janet. Good morning, Auntie. Good you morning. always yeah. home laden. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, Last <laughs> week we had bread. Bread. Today we're talking cocktails. Uh. Cocktails. Oh, look cocktails. at all the glasses and look at all the food. Yeah. I can see spring rolls, uh. I see samosa, I see chicken. Uh, this is lunch. We're I having see lunch. Peanuts. Early lunch. <laughs> Well, why are those not so far away, Janet? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we'll have time to eat them. <laughs> Good to have yeah, you with us again. You're most welcome. Always Thank exciting. <laughs> Great. Mm -hmm. Cocktail etiquette. What's the first thing we need to know about cocktails? Um, first of all, they're very different from the normal party. And, and basically, with a cocktail, it's really about mixing and mingling and building relationships. You, and know. you never see the tail of the cock. And you never <laughs> <laughs> and it's usually um, most times it's on a working day mm. after hours okay but of course you can have some on the weekend um, but typically your your cocktail is about having lots of finger food no real food and I get to that in a moment and light drinks light refreshers no hard drinks light drinks and um, it's really about going there to mix and mingle and it's normally for about two to about maybe four hours and the timing oh. for yeah you can well four hours is usually you would have wrapped up but people are just still <laughs> mixing and mingling yeah. you see and you can start your co cocktails don't normally take place in the afternoon so they normally around from 5 30 mm -hmm. um, and upwards so maybe you have a red carpet around 5 30 but typically Typically around 6 you want to start your cocktail and people could be there till 9 or 10 depending on, depending on how much they're mingling but at least between 2 to 3 hours is the program. After that they're talking, mixing and mingling. But what, is that, what, what are they for? They're usually for maybe you're launching something, you're unveiling something, you're appreciating customers or you have a special guest you know in-house or there's a, a, a formal um, thing that the corporate organization is doing either to appreciate customers or they want people to know about something a new product but like I said before there will always be an invite for um, cocktails most times we expect you to RSVP but if you don't um, it's not the kind of place where it's strictly seated so you can still go in um, but I must say starting with cocktails when it comes to seating, don't go there expecting to sit and relax. It's normally a case where less seating, more standing. Mm -hmm. And if you, if you see seats at all, they usually lounge seats like this. And then you're going to see a lot of cocktail tables because they don't expect you to sit down. Yeah, they expect you to mix and mingle table. with What's people. What's that song that fella that sang about the buses in Lagos? How many standing? <laughs> <laughs> So it's that, it's so, that kind of setup. Yes, you have more to, standing, more than, standing sitting. than sitting because they expect you to mix and mingle. And, and when I say mix and mingle, it's really about you know you spend some time with somebody, not the entire evening, mm -hmm. speak a, a few things, and then you move. And I'll talk about conversations in a moment. But don't go there thinking when it comes to food that you know it's about what are, you know, I'm going to eat this big delicious meal. Because I've seen places where you go to cocktails and they're like. Is this all they're going to give us? This tiny little thing? Well, it's a cocktail. And yes, it's all about finger food, small chops, and snacks. Nothing to fill your stomach up because it's light. It's supposed to be a light evening mix and mingle. Mm -hmm. And even when it comes down to food as well, I'll start with snacks. Um, most times you go to cocktails and you see things like peanuts and little nibbles on the table where everyone's hand goes into it. Mm. Now you need to be extremely mindful when you are in a, in a public place and everyone's dipping their hand in a bowl of peanuts. And some research was done and it's not very pleasant to when you test peanuts after a few people have put their hands in it, all sorts of things come up in the research. Mm. Oh so I would dear, always yeah. say, yeah, yeah, it's really, <laughs> and I would always say, like yeah. I have there, it's always good to put a spoon inside something, inside peanuts, bowls, or small snack bowls, so people can use the spoon to take it and put it into, on the, on the yes, so normally what I do, if I'm having a small cocktail, even in my house, because you can have cocktails in your house too, I always put side saucers. Um, um, piled up so that if you want to take a bit of everything you have your little saucer you have your spoon or you have your um spatula that people can use to take the items don't expect your guests to take the items with their hand 
So a spoon will help with peanuts and you dip it in, mm -hmm. you know. And the same thing goes for, um, so that's with snacks, okay. Now even with small chops or um, light finger food, it's always good to either pre-put cocktail sticks on them so people can pick them with the cocktail stick. Mm -hmm. Or like we have here, you use something like a spatula like this mm -hmm. for chicken and big items okay so that they can actually use this gadget mm -hmm. to dip take a chicken and put it into no, their plate. plate the same thing applies where when you go for a big function and the waiters are giving out things you know um sometimes yes the waiters will give you and you have to take it with your hand we understand that like sandwiches but even at that with sandwiches you can still put a cocktail stick on top of it and take it with your cocktail stick now but you, you're only going to touch the one that you are going to you're going to touch anyway. the one that you're going to eat some people are kind enough to say okay they will take a um, uh, disposable serviette and take it with the serviette you mm -hmm. know for hygiene reasons as well and that's perfectly okay but then again sometimes they give us things with like um um, what a stick meat or stick chicken mm -hmm. all right and they expect you to dip it into a sauce now that one you have to be careful as well because you can't take dip eat and then double dip again you can't do that because for hygiene reasons it's not nice at all but even at that I still think if you have a sauce that you want people to take from have a spoon inside as well so that they can take with the spoon and put on, on their, their plate. item their plate. rather than it because I've seen some people double dip so they've eaten the it's taken a bit and then they double dip into uh, that as well and that that's nice. <laughs> that, that, that nice. is an ouch factor <laughs> <That's nice. laughs> again with toothpicks coming down to food if you use a toothpick it's fine okay but what we don't want to see you at a cocktail because because the presence is important, whether it's personal, professional, or executive presence, all of it matters. Imagine you've taken something with your toothpick and you've finished using it. Now, it's not time for you to keep the toothpick in your mouth, and it's not even the time for you to use the toothpick like this in such environments because you're tempted. The moment you see a toothpick, you're tempted to pick your teeth, and everybody's watching. And, yeah. it, and you can imagine being caught on camera trying to pick your teeth. And in a well, it's well suited another all ouch. of that. Another ouch. <laughs> <laughs> so toothpicks. As soon as you've used it, I would say for safety, bend break it into it. two, break it into two, and then when you see a waiter passing, you know, just Drop put it, it on, the, on tray. the tray. It's as it's as simple as that. With food, you have to be mindful. I even say with cocktails, please don't go there hungry. I'm sorry, <laughs> Janet. You you said something about the toothpick. Let yeah. me have that. Right. There is something I notice in some places. Right. This has a cover, right? Yes, it does. So, so you have to. Yeah. So you actually.